Well, howdy folks. Hey, thanks for joining me today. It is a beautiful February day. In fact, it's so beautiful, I should be out on the lake fishing. But instead, I'm here. I'm going to work on my boat. Not a bad thing. But I did have a problem with my prop, so I'm waiting on that. So that's why I couldn't be out there. So I've been wanting for a little while now to replace the timer on my live wheel. And so I'm going to try to do that today. I've never done it. Don't know anything about it, but we're gonna see how it goes. I'm telling you, man, today it's almost 60 degrees in February here in Missouri. In fact, it's warm enough that even my woolly dog, he's gotta find a spot in the shade. It's too warm out here. Almost 60, it's supposed to be 60 tomorrow. So we'll see how this goes. So here's, here's what I have, I'll show it to you. Of course, I have my live well. I did put some water in it just so I could test it. And as you can see, this is an old boat. This is a 1992 Bass Cat. So none of these controls are modern at all, but they still work. And it has the aerator here. You can do manual, which as you can see, it's fine. The issue is on the timer switch here. You can, you can turn that to maximum or minimum. I'm gonna run that down because I'll show you it'll run. Now I'm not gonna sit here and have you watch this the whole time, but just take my word for it that it'll run for a minute. And then once that goes off, it rests for, I think a minute, I'm not sure. It might be five minutes. And then when it kicks back on, well, it doesn't kick back on. When it's supposed to kick back on, you can hear a click out of this timer, but the pump doesn't come on. And I'll show you that here in just a second. So there, it just kicked off and you can hear it in there trying to do something, maybe. Can y'all hear that? I'm not sure. But when it comes time to kick back on, it will not kick back on. So I'm going to attempt to change this timer under here. Now, I mean, I could take this whole dash off and replace a lot of stuff, which I would love to do, but I'm not going to do that. So this is what I bought to replace it with. I bought the Flowrite Pro Timer, and then they also have the Pro Timer Plus. I did not buy the Plus. I bought this one because this would be cool i would love to have that but if i did that i would have to redo the whole dash and i don't want to do that so i just bought the timer here's the timer button and there's the timer it goes in there and hook it up and i did also buy a couple of new rockers that i might try to replace but this is my goal here so i'm going to dive into it and see what happens hopefully you'll be able to see this okay there's a little tiny screw right there to take that off so you, you will definitely need a tiny screwdriver. So you gotta loosen this screw. And pull that off. So that's all there is to that. Take this nut off using a giant crescent wrench. You don't have to have it this big. You probably also get by with pliers. Usually once you get it loose, you're good. So I'm going to try to get you a shot of this. I don't know if I can. As you can see, the new one is like this. Still has the three wires, and I think yep, there's only two there. And of course, they're not on clips. Great. So I decided I was going to take this dash off, but the problem is these are clamped on the back. And it's funny because they have like a way to get it off quick, but you can't get to the to these over here. You can only get to that one. So I pulled this rocker out and I think I can get the wiring out of here. So pulling this out, you can see this wire has two reds coming in. I'm assuming one's from power and then the other one actually goes to the timer. The other wire on the timer switch is actually a yellow one and I think it must go back to the pump. So I'm gonna have to redo this connection with the two reds and I'll probably just do the timer end. I'll just cut that old timer off. The old timer, <laughs> I'm an old timer now. I'll cut that old timer off. I'll connect to the yellow wire with a new connector and then I'll connect to the end of the red wire because my new timer has the connections that I can just snap on there. Which is which, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to read the instructions. I don't like reading instructions. Probably will on this though. All right, so I'm gonna get those cut and then we'll wire those back up. All right, so I think I got it, maybe. We're gonna wait here just a second and, oh, there it went. All right, cool. 
So I'll show you what I did here. While I'm doing it, it'll go off. This is a mess, but I'll clean it up. So folks, this is an old boat. It's probably been rewired several times. This wire, that's not hooked to anything. And this wire, that is not hooked to anything. Both of those wires were connected to the old timer, this old timer. See the red and yellow? That's what was connected to it. And I was fighting this the whole time, trying to figure out what was what. I assumed the red was power and that the yellow went to the pump. But in this boat, this green wire right here is my power. So I got it going into the new switch. And then I got jumper to the top. I probably didn't have to do that. Then I have come from this side into the new timer, which is this. Coming out of the timer back into this green wire. Whoops, I just disconnected it, I guess. Into that green wire, which goes to the pump. <sighs> and it was a mess trying to figure all this out crazy i think i got it but the thing that was really holding me up was you have to ground the switch and i was not grounding it so i was fighting it it would work and then it wouldn't work and then i finally thought well i'll just put the ground on there instead of on the switch so i put the ground on the timer and that seems to be working i'm gonna see if it shuts off here in a second and then i'll put all this back together i got it on minimum it should shut off in 60 seconds I think it goes from one to five minutes. Minimum is one minute to run and then it's off for a minute. Max is one minute to run and then it's off for five minutes, I think. So I have it on one. I think you can hear that. Oh, there it went, shut off right there. So that's off. Now we're gonna wait just a second or a minute and see if it comes back on. Should be coming back on any minute now, any second now. There it went. Just kicked on you probably heard that little click and now the pump's running you can probably hear that so all right we're good yeah i'll get this buttoned up and then come right back after that as you can see i don't have room for this plate but it does come with this and what that is is just a it'll say it'll be this one here and this plate is what this is i don't have room for it all i need is the little button so that's all i'm going to do but if you relocate that, you might you can use that. But if you were going to relocate it, I would be, I would get the Pro Timer Plus. It's got the switch and everything for it. Okay, so this really wasn't an easy task, but I think I'm there. So as you can see, I have the switch in, and that way is manual, which it says right there. This way is auto, which it says right there. I got minimum and maximum on there. So the only thing I got left is to put this dial on. Now, it says in the directions how to do this, and I don't remember what it says, but I'm just going to turn it all the way that way to minimum. And then I'm going to make sure this white line is at minimum. Just like that. And all I have to do is take my screwdriver and tighten this little screw down, set screw. Just like that. Now I'm ready to go. All right, and it works. I just tested it. Can you hear it come on? That's on manual. And then it also comes on on auto, and it'll shut off in a minute. I'm good to go. All right, well, like I said, it wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. It took me most of the afternoon, just about all afternoon today. I'm glad it was a nice day. That wiring's hard underneath there, and when it, you don't know what it is, you got to figure it out, and... When you're a big guy like me, you can't just lay down and stick your head under that little dash on a boat. So anyway, this one's done. Now I get to go fishing, I hope, one of these days, once I get my prop. So, hey, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I pray that God blesses you. And I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you get to go fishing.